my channel. Uh, I just did a look, so a little bit more than this video is probably going to call for. But I'm filming the intro for this one, so you'll probably see this look in another video. But that's not why you're here. So, I decided to go through my palettes, and I kind of really wanted to give you guys something that you could look at as far as options for you for fall. Uh, so I, I'm going to do that today, and this video is actually going to be spread out over two, so... The first half will be my drugstore palettes that I think are really good for fall. And the other video will be my high-end luxury palettes. So you'll see the same intro for both. Hope that's okay. <laughs> um, if not, get up. But anyway, so, all right, so diving into this video. Okay, so just diving into these palettes, I picked five <laughs> that I think are really just great fall palettes from the Anastasia brand. For very different reasons. Um, let's start with Prism. I'm not actually not sure this one's still available, but this is a really, really pretty palette. This palette, I would say, is interesting in that you can do some typical fall looks or you can actually kind of just grunge it up and just add some of this really beautiful, what color is this? That beautiful, like, I don't even know how to describe that. It's just I'm so how many times can I say beautiful, right? This is a really pretty palette if you just want to like get a bit extra in there, you want to do something more than just your typical fall look and it gives you a range. You're not going to get your typical fall look, speaking of that, from this palette because you just have, you know, a couple of browns and there's a rust there. You can sort of do one or two versions of that, but if you really want to add some pops of color and just press it a little bit more, this is a really good fall palette for that one. Now, Subculture, I'm sure you guys have all heard of it. It's had some very, very mixed reviews with it. I personally like the palette. As long as you know you're going to have to spend some extra time with it to get it to do exactly what you want, then I say go for it. I love this color range as well. It's still unique, and it's a bit more, I would say, friendly as far as the colors go as opposed to the Prism palette um, because you have some nice, like, uh, really kind of greenish colors in here and some rosier tones and some deeper tones as well. So you can still do a lot with this one too. It's not going to be your typical fall palette, but it does give you some really cool looks. And if you want your typical, like, incredibly beautiful palette range, you cannot go wrong with this one. I love the Soft Glam. This was my ride or die for such a long time. Um, it speaks for itself beautiful rich tones nice brown smoky eyes warmer smoky eyes you can do so much with this palette soft glam I would say out of all of these is one you should have really all year long now looking at sultry sultry is actually really good too it's much cooler I consider this more of a cooler tone palette this is just going to give you that nice it's, I would say it's a cooler, more neutral palette, but this is a really good one if you just want just your standard and with a little bit of flair. These have some beautiful shimmers in it. Fall smoky eye. You can really wear it all year long, but I actually pull this out for fall as well. And then newer to the collection actually is this Anastasia Jackie Ina palette. This one is just... I mean, I... Lots to say, not the words aren't coming to me, <laughs> but this gives you a range. I would say for me, this one is a combination of like the playfulness of subculture as far as the colors with, you know, the tones and the richness of, you know, the prism palette here with, you know, some beautiful, nice, rich colors as far as soft glam and a little bit of extra flair with sultry. This palette for me has all of those options in one. And on my skin tone, this really is so nice and saturated. Um, so this is actually another one of my favorites. And I would say if you want to get one that gives you a bit more, you know, playfulness to it, definitely go for this one. Okay, looking at Melt now. Melt is one of my favorite, favorite cosmetics brands. Like, hands down, they're an indie brand. I believe they're in Sephora, not believe, they are in Sephora now as well, so you can get them there. I just really love, you know, Melt Cosmetics because, as you'll see when I open these up, they have unique colors. Um, starting with the Gemini palette, I would really say this is 
definitely one of the more unique palettes for fall. You can get some really pretty smoky green grungy look here, your nice neutrals here. This is just a very different fall vibe and I really love it because it's so unique. It's not like really anything else I have in my um, collection and this is a really good palette for the funness of it. Just unique looks. I can't say it too much but this is the Gemini palette so I really would suggest this one. Now 27. 27 is going to be in my opinion, let me get it so I don't blind you, this is more your standard, what I would consider fall look. So I don't know if the camera's picking it up very well, but it's nice and warm, rich tones, uh, siennas, browns, taupes in there, a little bit of a copperish gold right here. I'm not sure what you would call this color right here. Um, but this is just one of those one and done. You can get very nice variations of a nice warm fall smoky eye or just really any kind of look you want to go for. So this is a really good palette for that. So next up from my Mel family, these are actually stacks, but they come, I actually got this container, let me show you. Ah, it's magnetic. And you put this in this here. It's a really good way to store your stacks. Um, you can just put it like this. Otherwise, I would pull it out, but they just stack in like a little bundle thing. I'll try to get a picture and maybe put it up above. But these stacks here, I love. I believe this one is called, hold on. This is the She's and Party stack. And just so you know how it actually works, they actually just stack on each other like this. So you can kind of pull them out this way. Lots of different ways. But I find that this is a really, I love this stack here because it's nice and it's, it's saturated, it has a nice warm berry feel to it, so this is a great look for that. For fall, if you want something that's got a little bit more shimmer and shine, this one is the Haystack here. This is going to give you some beautiful, yeah, look at that. And this gold here, and then this one here, oh, I love these, love these. So this is uh, the Haystack here. And then if I'm going over to this one here, this one is a really beautiful fall one as well. This one's the Love Stick Stack. And you have those here. And then this one here is the Gunmetal Stack. So these here are pretty much all you need for fall. One thing I will say about Melt is they have great, really great user-friendly sales. They don't do the whole 10% off here. They will give you like 30, 40% off. Um, so I usually, when I get my melt stuff, I usually wait for those because otherwise they're a pretty penny. Um, and as you can see, I really love melt. But yeah, so long and short of it, wait for the sales. If you can't, if you can, if you can't, then go ahead and get it. But their sales are incredible. So this is my last with melt. Okay, so next up I have Too Faced. Uh, this was one of the first ones I got just ever, just to say that. Um, but this one, I'm trying not to blind you guys. This is a really nice, just beautiful and warm tone palette. I mean, most of the you know palettes for fall are going to be nice and warm and rich and berries and siennas and browns. But this is a really, really kind of nice uh, palette just if you want that kind of all-in-one. You're not going to get too much variety with this one, um, but you will get some really good looks out of it. And it smells good, too. So this one is the Just Peachy palette with Too Faced. And then next is the Sweet Peach palette. Now this has way more neutral tones in it. You have some um, nice purple there. It's just like one. And then you have some really, really nice browns in there and a couple of greens there. So this is a pretty basic palette. I don't reach for this as much, but I would say that if you want something that's really pretty daily friendly, you can kind of spush it up, spush it up. Is that even a word? You can actually kind of like spice it up if you want to with some of the shimmers. I um, really do a pretty smoky eye with it, but this is a really nice intro palette to kind of a variety for a fall palette. So this one is Sweet Peach. And then this one here, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar, the gold, I actually use this more of a companion with some of the other palettes because it has really beautiful shimmers. I would never just, you know, use it by itself. Um, I mean, I guess you could. But if you really wanted to add it um, on top of a look that you've just done, this is a really good palette for that. Um, so yeah, 
Too Faced Chocolate Bar Gold. It smells great too. Okay, so next up I have Dose of Colors. Now this Sassy Sienna's, this is just a nice, I'm not going to say too much about it. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. This is just a really good, warm palette. I would use this one as fall with other palettes. So you could use it by itself, of course, but I actually would pair this with some of the other ones. But this is the Sassy Sienna's. And then if you want way more sparkle and have a little bit more you can kind of do with your palette. This one here is the Desi and Katie Frankation palette. Oh, that's so reflective. This has incredible shimmers here. Like, you just cannot go wrong with these bad boys. Um, I love this palette. Not much else to say. <laughs> this is a good palette as well for fall. Okay, so moving right along to Urban Decay. These, in my opinion, are two can't go wrong in your collection love these for two very different reasons. This is your typical, you know, warm palette, the Naked Heat palette by Urban Decay. Ah, pull it out here. Um, it's nice and all warm. I mean, you're not going to get too many variations as far as what you're doing with this, but the looks that you can create are really nice. You can make nice, warm, sultry, smoky eyes, a nice everyday look. This is like one of the, and the pigmentation is really good too. So this is such a great warm tone palette that I pull out when fall time comes around like I really like this one can't say enough about it so that one's the Naked Heat and then this one the Born to Run this has everything you need in one palette I have another palette by Sephora that I'm going to show you probably just after that and the difference is this one has quite a few shimmers in it which I love I'm a shimmer girl and it has some mattes to go with it and the colors are rich there's a nice variety here you have purples and berries and blues and greens and black and you can, you know, copper, taupe, you can do everything in this palette. I mean, just as long as you don't mind having quite a few of them being shimmers as opposed to mattes, this could really be kind of your one and done take with you everywhere, all seasons, all seasons throughout the year long. So this is the Born Around palette. Okay, so next up I have my Sephora Pro Smoky Jewels palette. I don't hear too much on YouTube about this one. I really like this one. This one is a nice, let me find something so you actually don't get blinded by the light here. Oh, not too bad. Um, so this one is really, really pretty. It's very similar to the Born to Run palette. I'll show you them next to each other. But this one, the tones in this one are much deeper. So there you go, next to this one very very similar but you have the tones in this one I don't know if it's showing up on camera are much richer um, you have way more browns in here so I would say this is an ex this one is an extension of this one um, really really nice palette I love these two uh, definitely if you're looking for one over the other you probably don't need both and this one's smaller so it may be easier to travel with but if you want more of a range of blues to kind of just expand off of this born around here this is a really great palette it's like a nice all-in-one so this is the um, smoky jewels palette by Sephora Pro by Sephora okay so next up I have Kylie and KKW Beauty just put them together because they're sisters <laughs> anyways so this KKW Beauty this was my first palette by her the uh, so fire palette I believe this is not her newest she has some like 90s version of other things now but this I really like a lot like it's you know the colors are I keep saying this they're all warm palettes because it's fall and that's pretty much what fall does for me anyway um but this is such a beautiful palette like the shimmers are really nice the mattes are nice and rich uh it, it's a warm palette again I've said it millions of times uh, sorry for saying it again but this is this gives you some variety and the shimmers are really really beautiful and this one here is the Kylie Jordan palette. This one is nice. I mean, I it's hit or miss with me for Kylie Cosmetics as far as pigmentation and shade range, a uh, range of colors, but this one to me nailed it. Like it has I love the purples in here. I love the bronze and the the brown. Um and this one has a nice flip to it. Let me see if I can show you here. Yeah, see it a little bit. Um but this is a really good fall palette too. Okay, so next up I have Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. I love her packaging. She just, 
like nailed it with the packaging. But this is a really good, um, nice fall color. This is really any color, any season. Um, but these are such rich tones. The shimmers are nice. The duochromatics are really, really pretty. Um, I love pulling this one out during fall time. Next up I have the Domini Cosmetics. I don't think you're going to be able to see this, but I'll try. This is the Latte Palette. This is just a really smooth palette. I mean, you're going to get some nice, rich, brown, smoky eyes. Nice warmer tone here. You have a nice little pop of color. Some purple if you want to deepen it up and give it a bit more of a berry hue. Um, this is a really good palette. Um, I love pulling this one out during the fall. Or really any season. I'm saying that quite a bit. But yeah, this is such a great palette. Can't go wrong with this one either. Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. Okay, so rounding out the high-end luxury category of palettes that you can use for fall are, these are my babies. I've, it's taken a while, but I have these in my collection. As you can see from my hands, I like them a lot. <laughs> but just to dive into this, um, the Natasha Denona Safari Palette, this is an all-matte palette. This is really such a unique palette in that you can do very different looks with this one. And... You know, I love this one because of the uniqueness of the shades and, and really the combinations that I can come up with with looks. It's, I could do my typical fall look, but then I can also push it and use some of these blues and grays and greenish and then maybe add some purple to warm it up and to deepen it up. So there's a lot of playroom with this one. The quality for all of these is just insane. So it's really not about that. It's about pushing creativity. And this is such a good palette for that. I love this Safari palette by Natasha Denona. Now this one is a neutral palette. This is like my ride or die every day. I use this one a lot. The Natasha Denona Biba palette. I'm trying to not blind you. Um, this one, I believe it's really good to have kind of a neutral palette that's your go-to that you can deepen up and warm up. I um, mean, this is that palette. This is really an all-year-round palette, but definitely during the fall. Uh, you can just get creative with, with how you do your neutral looks and how you warm them up. And, you know, it has range. I love this palette, too. So this is the Biba palette. And then this one here, the Natasha Denona Gold. Oh, this is so pretty. But this isn't your everyday. I would not pull this out necessarily every day. It has some great warm browns and uh, neutrals here. Um, but then you can also kind of add some teal to this, some gold. All these golds look different on your eyes. This is a really nice kind of rust warm, you know, every, no I won't say every day, but definitely I pull it out for the fall. And I really would probably pull this out more if I'm doing a glam or a look for like an evening time thing. But this is such a good palette too. So this is the gold palette. And then your more typical actual warm palette is the Sunset Palette by Natasha. So as you can see here, there's nice oranges. Hopefully the, cam the camera translates, but there's really warm, warm oranges and reds. And there's a nice yellow there. The shimmers are really great with that. There's some pinks in there. Some salmon, I guess this color is called. I'm not really sure what it's called, but it's so gorgeous. Here, let me show you. Oh, that's so pretty. Um, but this is... Clearly, this one, you look at it and it screams fall, but this is really just dynamic palette. Love this one, too. And then I just did a look on this. I know she has a new one coming out, it's the, or it's actually out now, the Mothership um, 6, but this one is the Mothership 5. The packaging alone. But anyway, so opening this up. This is really pretty. Like her formula, these these toppers over here, they do something different depending upon how you layer them on a shadow. You just get a lot of range with this one. Sorry, my hands are like moving all around here, but this is a beautiful, beautiful palette for just really everything, um, but definitely during the fall. Absolutely pull this one out for fall. Not just fall, <laughs> but good for fall. So thanks for sitting through the video. I really hope you liked my collection. It's 
I've been working on it for a while, so I really like them a lot. I love eyeshadow palettes. I love to play with them. So I really hope that you guys found some use in the palettes that I chose for this high-end and luxury video. They're all different. They all have similar colors as you saw, but, you know, different brands have different um, formulas, and it's just all about your preference and what you like as far as the color stories, what you like as far as price tag, all that good stuff. So not to just babble on, I really hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for spending some time. Before you get on about your day, head on over and check out my Instagram information. should be popping up right about now. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm going to head on out. I love doing these. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, please go ahead and leave them down below. Thanks, and have a wonderful day, noon or night. <laughs> Bye, you guys.